The next thing is we are going to look at how to use the Bing AI to write stories and then to control how what are the what is the tone of that story and how do we want it to appear so we can control the language and how friendly or otherwise we want the Bing AI to write the story for us. So for example, we can go ahead and say new topic. We can go ahead and ask it to write a story about a lion living in a city in Nigeria that make it sound real. So let's say write a story of a lion living in the city in Nigeria. Please make it real. Make it appear real and friendly. So control the tone. Okay, so let's hear the response from Bing AI. Lions in Nigeria. Sure, I can write a story about a lion living in the city in Nigeria. Here is one possible story. Simba was a young lion who lived in Yankari Game Reserve with his mother, Florence, and his two siblings. You can see? Look at how fantastic the story is coming. Yankari is a city in Nigeria, in northern Nigeria. You can see see the story. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the story. Okay, so let's see what what, what is the story. Uh, he loved exploring the savannah and playing with his friends, but he also dreamed of seeing the world beyond the reserve. He had heard stories from his mother about how lions used to roam freely across Nigeria, but how they they were confided to only two places because of human encroachment and poaching. So I think this Simba story looks like the Lion King story, the Simba in the Lion King story. And maybe he stole that information or that story from there and then he quickly reprogram it to, to fit in Nigeria content, a city in Nigeria. So one day he decided to sneak out of the reserve and follow a road that led to a nearby city. So you can see he hid behind some bushes and watched as humans went about their daily lives. He saw buying food from stalls, talking on phones, riding motorcycles. You can see how it connects everything to reality. Okay, he decided to venture further into the city, hoping to find something to eat or drink. Okay, he crossed a busy street, dodging cars and horns. But they are about. So you can see he had some adults shouting at him from a distance. They looked angry and afraid too. They picked up stones and sticks and threw them at him. Simba felt pain at some point. Some of them hit him on his head and body. He realized that he made a mistake by coming here. Humans didn't like lions or want them around. They only wanted to hurt them or kill them. So he turned around and ran back towards the road where he came from, hoping to find his way back home. But to his mother, back to his mother, back to safety. Okay, so this story kind of looks good. And look at the images it quickly used to just uh, showcase or portray lion. If you want to use these images, maybe as uh, part of your story, you can see more if you want and take you to more where you can see different kind of lions uh, around. So to augment your story and make it more meaningful and colorful. So this is about lions. You can even ask it to write a love story for you. A simple love story about a girl and a guy in, in northern Nigeria or in Kaduna State. So let's see. Can you write a funny love story about a guy and his girlfriend living in Kaduna, Nigeria? Make it sound friendly. Okay, we already said funny, so no problem. Nigeria, Kaduna, Nigeria. So let's see the response that it's going to give us. Kaduna, Nigeria, generating answers for you. Sure, I can write a funny love story about a guy and his girlfriend living in Kaduna, Nigeria. Adamu was a young engineer who worked at the oil refinery in Kaduna. He was uh, this is this. He swiped through my, my many profiles until he came across that girl's profile. He waited nervously for her to reply. After a while, a few minutes, she replied, okay. They exchanged phone numbers and started calling each other. Okay, you can see Adamu planned to take uh, to Aisha to Kajuru Castle Resort. You see, it even connected to a very beautiful um, vacation point in Kaduna State. You can see he tried calling her several times but no answer. He felt confused and sad. He thought maybe this was not meant to be. He thought this was too good to be true and so on. You can see these are images of Kaduna State in Nigeria. So you can see this is the Emir's Palace. These are other very beautiful places in Kaduna State. So I think this is very, very powerful and nice. You can easily use it to your content creation. You can generate stories that are original and you can use it to your own advantage. All you need is just try to look at it and see 
how you can do that's quite neat or do some basic editings to fit into your content okay so but you can use this to generate social media posts for example you can say from this story can you generate a tweet for me to share with my followers you can say uh, can you generate tweets from the love story above for me to share with my followers so let's see what it was going to say and it's just going to give you that tweet very nicely I'm very short sure. let's see it okay sure i can generate a tweet from the love story above just read just read this hilarious and romantic story of a guy and his girlfriend living in Kaduna, Nigeria. will they ever meet in person or will fate play a cruel joke on them find out here you can just put hashtag Kadila love story and you can see you just started a track or something that people can follow and enjoy the story so every day you can be changing the story or you can be giving different perspective to the story but overall what i'm trying to show you here is how you can prompt in different kind of questions especially storytelling and you can have this bing ai write exceptional stories for you for your followers to enjoy and see how you can enhance your presence social media presence or you can bring in different perspective to storytelling i think that does it for this tutorial thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one